Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to be talking about color contrast, which is a very important topic when it comes to UI design. Applying colors effectively is a skill that everyone who works with visual compositions must have. So you as a UI designer need to know how to use colors in your projects. When it comes to applying colors, readability and legibility are the key factors. Researchers have shown that vibrant colors enable enough of contrast helping to increase readability and legibility. Please take into consideration that too much color contrast may cause difficulty in reading. I highly recommend that designers should create a mid-level of contrast and for highlighting elements they can use high contrasting colors. You can also use websites to provide you with a ratio when comparing two colors to see whether there is enough contrast or not. If you look at the examples on the right, we have six different colors. As you can see, the first four are acceptable and have enough contrast, but the others are not readable. So when we are designing a user interface, we need to pay attention to colors a lot because sometimes you as a designer want to be as creative as possible. However, creativity should come after readability and legibility. Hi everyone. In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about color palette. Creating a color scheme for product might seem like a hard task, especially if you are a beginner. However, in reality, it's not as complicated as many designers think. What is a color scheme? UI color scheme is a mixture of colors used in your user interface. Almost every color scheme contains the following groups of colors. Primary colors, secondary colors, accent colors, neutrals, semantic colors. What are the primary and secondary colors? Primary and secondary colors are the base colors of your user interface. The colors which are used most frequently in your UI design are called primary colors. Most designers usually choose brand colors as primary colors. As a matter of fact, it's recommended to have no more than three primary colors. Optionally, you can use secondary colors in order to distinguish your products and make more interesting UI designs. Alright, but how to choose colors properly? When you're working with colors, you should not create a combination of random colors because the result would not be the one you expect. In order to understand how to work with colors, first you need to know what the color will is and how it works. Here are important color combinations you need to know. Complementary, which are two colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. And the next one is monochromatic, which are three shades, tones, and tints of one base color. And the last one is analogous, which are three colors that are side by side on the color wheel. If you look at the right side of the picture, you can see that we have a color wheel here. As you can see, we have monochromatic. For example, if you look at the red, we have three different shades or let's say tints of one base color. And also we have complementary. For instance, here we have purple and yellow which are on opposite sides of the color wheel. So the combination of these colors is great. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another lesson of this course. In this video, we're going to be talking about spacing in design. Consistency plays a key role in UI design. So when you're designing, you need to measure everything and keep it consistent. As a designer, spacing is up to you but once you set it, you need to use the same spacing patterns in your designs. For instance, if you set the spacing between the header and body text to 8 pixels, you should always use the same spacing throughout your project. As you can see in the picture, all the spacing has been measured accurately and it makes the design clearer. For instance, if you look at the picture, you can see that we have 50 pixels from the top to new pictures title and then 8 pixels from new pictures to the top of subtitle and going on and on. 
So in order to keep your design clear, make sure that you use consistent spacing patterns throughout your project. This is NBN Network Media, news for all races connecting you to the world.